Hello, my name is Mr. Spamol, and today I'm back with another episode of Unturned Life. It has been absolutely ages since the last one. I'm very sorry about that. I've been distracted making all sorts of crazy videos and expect a whole lot more very, very soon. And in this video, well, I don't actually fully know what we have planned, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned to the very end. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you messing up? Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and let's go ahead. And get started. That is right, I'm on the Blue Beret Air Carrier. I knew this was a thing for quite a while. I may have managed to spot it. It is proper hidden, and this thing is insane. I mean, look at this. And I don't know where Brad is. He's kind of disappeared again. I'm sure he'll turn up very soon, but look at the state of these things. I'm not entirely sure what we got planned, but I got plenty of uh, weaponry on me, including this bad boy, which I'm saving for a rainy day. You know what I mean? If, if, speaking of rain, we might have some very soon. But if things go a little bit south, I'm ready. What's up, Samuel? Yeah, man. Just uh, looking around. <laughs> this place is you like huge. To... Have you seen? Yeah. Have you seen the bottom deck? Yeah, go in the bed. You, you can't the bed. actually go in those rooms. Go in there. Go in there. Go you in there. Can't go actually in go. In there. Okay. Right. I, what do you mean? There. You go can try. There. Go ahead. Go ahead, Samuel. Jump over. <laughs> it. Jump over it. What is this? I'll show this? you. I'll show you. Here we go. This is blueberry technology. You can get in. Jump. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, Hold yeah. on. He's coming in. I think that's Boris. I don't know what he's up They're to, but he, he's it. got his play. Oh, oh no, They're guys. Not make it. Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He didn't crash. We're good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. Hey, Mr. Spam, what are you doing here, man? Yeah, I just I asked if I could tag along. I'm practicing, you see, and uh, you know. They were nice enough to let me come join them up here. Oh, well, very, very nice. I have no idea why me and Lorenzo are here yet. So if you want to join us, uh, hopefully they'll let us know why we're here. I kept asking about, you know, what the mission is, and they were very vague. They said you'd have to wait for the briefing. So they got something planned. All right. Well, I'm uh, sure. Boris, we'll find I have out a phone very call soon. I need to make. We down there in just you have a, a phone call? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Finances. Uh, hey buddy, we're looking for oh, hey. Reds and Elias. Yeah, they're uh, on the deck. You can come with me. All right, yeah, you lead the way. Yeah. All right, Red. So, you got to in here and check, take a look at the. Um... Hey man. Just this way, lads. Okay. Alright, you got it. I just want to make sure, we're not really losing any elevation, so we should be okay, but everything else looks alright. Alright, sounds good. I feel like we might need to do some sort of maintenance on the hull on the outside at some point. Hey, so sure fellas! We... <laughs> uh, hey! Hey, good, good to see you both. Hey. Lorenzo got a call in for us to, uh, to come to the helicarrier immediately. Yeah, okay? yeah. Yeah, um, we, uh, we're just trying to talk with everyone about this, uh, mission that Red's cooked up, um, We'll brief you on it. Um, we're gonna wait for everyone uh, to show up, and then we're gonna head to the meeting room. We'll talk about it a little bit. We'll get your input, what you guys think. Samuel's mainly here to uh, gain some training. He's a little bit new to this sort of thing. And um, yeah, I was a bit of a shock to see him here on the heli carrier, but uh, I'm glad he's here. And I I'm guessing he's coming on the mission with us, right? Yep, and you're dressed mighty spiffy today. Uh, yeah, well the thing is, I when Lorenzo got the call in, we were heading to a Soprano meeting, and uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing, so you guys, if we are going on a mission, we're going to have to hook me up with some special forces gear, or something at least. Hopefully I don't mess it up, I'm going to stick back, let the professionals do their job. I do not want to get in the way on my first official Blue Beret mission. They've kind of tagged along with my missions, but this is my first proper Blue Beret one. Oh, this place is so cool. Hey, I want one. Hello, Doc. This place is a maze. Oh. Hey, I'm Lorenzo, through here, man. What is he doing? Second man? floor, man. Hey, Mr. Duck, what up? Ooh, this is a right table. I get a chair, peasant. I mean, Let's close the, the uh, fact that you guys have pulled in for this much support shows something real big is going down. So, uh, what, what exactly is happening? Alright, well, uh, you're, you know, you're probably noticing that not many. Blue Berets are here at this table right now, and that's because some of them are currently. Uh, actually, Reds, how about how about you describe what's going on first? All right, I'll I'll fill in later. A couple of days ago, we went and took out the the out, Figos outpost from the mainland, 
and we talked about how that was pretty much all their forces on the mainland had gone, pretty much. We'd managed to get it all away. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Cool. All right, perfect. Um, well, basically, um, the reason they haven't been able to get anything over is because they've been trying to launch them from one place, and pretty much any attempt they've made, we've been able to shut them down, essentially. So what they've now done is they've started construction of a new outpost on the north side of their island. It's a fairly large facility, and what it's going to allow them to do, if we let them get it up, is just be able to launch, uh, launch vehicles from different places, and the chances of us being able to stop them all are pretty slim. So what we're going to need to do is try and shut down that facility today, which is why we've called in all the all the help we see here. And uh, the only way to actually, uh, I guess, get rid of that facility is with some seriously massive explosives that Lorenzo has, in fact, helped us create. Uh, thank you for that. Um, I dabble. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, these explosives are, in fact, loaded into couple of quinjets on the deck um, and our job is going to be to use this detonator to blow these weapons up and destroy that outpost and that area once and for all just I have completely a question. level the entire thing yeah so if we're going in and placing this bomb why don't we just airstrike it can we do that we can't get any air power in the area. I mean, the Quinjet is possibly the most stealthy vehicle. We don't exactly get pinged by radar, but the closer we get, and the, you know, the closer we get to any location near that island, the easier it will be for them to detect it, and perhaps detect this massive thing that's basically at their front doorstep, um, which they haven't been able to detect so far. All right, so, so let me get this place. straight. We're gonna fly the Quinjet to uh, near, near the base, we're going to disembark, head over there, plant the bomb, gather any intel we can, and get out of there. Pretty much, yeah. We got three guys on the ground All waiting right. for us. Go, go, go. Oh. Wow, trap me inside. That's, that's very oh. nice of you, Wyatt. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's get on with this mission. Let's make it a quick one. In and out. Job done. Kill some Fuguith. Should be fun. Is that an armed... Um, M9 uh, bayonets as well. Oh, this is so cool. What be, a yeah. mission. All right, good. right where do you want me? In here ready to go. Yeah, uh, Lorenzo, you want to take a look at the explosive? Okay, this is exciting. My first Blue Beret mission. Well, first official one. Red, close the hatches. Oh, yeah, you're going to have a great right. time, man. Just make sure you keep that suppressor on if we're going in time to begin with. Uh, you know, we got your back if anything goes wrong. All right, I'll uh, I'll stick laser back and let the professionals do their job. It's like a laser tag, except you might die. Yeah. Hey, fellas, heads up! Looks like we're coming in for landing. All right. Let's be careful. Get ready. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make sure my gun is okay. Um, suppressors. I have up. tons on me. Okay. Be any Place that. Too close here, right? Okay. Go, go, go. Right. I'm gonna follow their lead. Everything good here, Marco? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh at Red. Hey, fellas, good to see you all. You want to help him unload the bomb and stuff like that? Hey, Doc, you want to help me with that? Listen, boys, uh, you all know why we're here. You've all been briefed already, all right? I just need, uh, I need all to know, let out your, uh, your inner demons on these guys, okay? No holding back. Let's go in there, we got a job to do. Yeah, uh, Stamel, uh, first rule of, uh, yeah, Calm first down. rule of, of these sort of things, let's, uh, let's keep the, uh, trigger discipline, all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Look, look, I understand. We gotta be the, I said the first rule of gun safety was to have fun. Yeah, I mean. Take it literally. I, I, yeah, oh. he, he took it too literal. Okay, all right. All right, let's roll. It's fun. Let's Red, go. we're following you. Push up, push up. Okay, yeah, Red, Jesus. Mark, we're running. We're going for yeah, it. All right, let's do this. Oh, the build-up for this has really? been intense. Beautiful. Well, hey, this is beautiful. Outfit. This is beautiful California it's fine, water. Morris, Don't. It wicks water, alright? It's fine. I can always make you another one. Okay, he is fast. He's going for this. Still Holy, there's hey, yeah, loads yeah, of them. I'll, I'll come with you, actually. I'll, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. Stay low. Stay I'm going low. left with Lorenzo. Stay low. Alright. Alright, I reflect your sniper. Alright, we're mate. good. Okay, I'm sticking behind. You guys see any few with? I can't see any. Red, this is weirdly quiet. How many we're potentially up against here? 
Uh, not got a huge idea, but it's a pretty large space, so we can expect quite a few. Alright, copy that. Alright, right, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna toss the grenades. Oh, oh. Oh, well, oh. Yep, oh. we're going loud. Yep. What the? Oh, my arm oh, okay, is. Okay, this is loud. This is loud. Be ready. These guys are heavily armed. Oh. Oh my. Oh. I do not like that. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's just wait. There's a laptop here. There's also a computer. Hold on. Yeah, these guys are strong. These computers aren't connected to the actual internet. They're using closed servers. Hey, Marcus. Alright, let's go. Okay. Alright guys, let's get ready to right, move out. They might open that door, so get ready. Enzo, you took the intel, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on flash drive. Alright, I got one. The door's open. Alright, let's get back. Alright, they closed it, they closed it. Hey, guys. Let's go! Let's push back! Oh my. We have a little bit longer than a minute, okay. Are we talking about the entire base going okay, come on. high or what? Yeah, if it goes well, it will cripple the base. Alright. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Get in! And you get! Ah! Jesus, go! Oh! We lost some. We lost some. We lost some. We lost some. We're getting a hit. Oh my, we're getting hit heavy. Lorenzo. Lorenzo! What are you doing, man? I got it. I got it. My bomb. Oh, I have to do it. It's my responsibility. I got you covered. I need you guys to run though, alright? Uh, I need three medics over here. I have three guys down. I have three guys down. What are you doing? I don't, I don't get this. I'm going in! I need your help, I'm man. going! There's three guys just leading the death. Ah! Man, ah! Ah! It's not going off. It's not going off. What the? Lorenzo, how are they looking? Uh, there's, their condition is stabilizing, but it's still really not good for them. Oh, Lorenzo, I, I know we really shouldn't be talking. I know, uh... This is probably the worst thing to bring up right now, but do you think he's alive? Honestly, I, I made that thing with... No, there, there really shouldn't. There shouldn't be any possible way he should be alive right now. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, I did the... The, the, I did the wreckage this. is borderline radioactive, correct? Like, bo borderline? Yes. Okay, so really how, how long until we can... There's a few days? How long before we can go in there and, and, and look? A few hours at best. Okay. The other thing we need to consider that's is with gas that explosion. Full hazmat gear. The, the explosion was loud enough to um, to alert the uh, the other island, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Definitely. We need to. Uh, all right. Once once these guys are ready, um, Marcus, um, Reds, we need to make sure that uh, we're not going to be intercepted by anyone coming out there. So we need to, we need to evac as quick as we can. Yeah. Um, we, we, we need to come back. Marcus, we'll, we'll be back as soon can as you, we can. Can you get them stabilized for transport? Yeah, I just need a few more uh, bandages and stuff. Uh, 
I can't, wait, wait, yeah, so I, I can't even look Boris right is dead. Is, is that what you're telling me? Um, Boris is gone. Look, look, we gotta maintain our best. hope, right? The nah, I mean, look, he's he's a tough guy. Who knows? I'm I'm sure maybe he makes it. I I don't know. Elias, I, I did this. I made no, you that. can't say that. Yourself, you cannot say that. It's look, not your fault. In the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. I mean, you were doing your job. We all were. Lorenzo, you've been in you've been in this game for a very long time. So have I. You know. You know what happens sometimes. 